Maybe you're like us and you have a lot of knobs and pulls from various furniture projects. Uh, we refinish furniture. Or maybe you come across some in boxes from sales or just projects you've done around the house. We have a lot of knobs. And today we're gonna go over a few simple ideas uh, that you can use these knobs on. Let's get started. So the first idea we're going to do is to use some knobs as feet for a table trivet. So we're going to put these on the bottom, make them like little feet. So you can sit little things on this on the table. Um, as you can see, we took a piece of walnut and we put a little detail on or painted that on. And I sealed this up with a semi-gloss clear coat. If you want to know how to do all this, you can watch our rustic sign video in our playlist. So we're going to take these. And as you can see, I pre-drilled a hole all the way through, and I also countersunk a hole, uh, just so we can put a screw in, and it'll go all the way down through and up into the boards. I'm also just gonna put a little bit of glue on there just to help it hold. The next project we're going to do is very simple. Just make like a little knob holder for the wall. Uh, you can hang a coat or anything else on it. Uh, so we're going to use a larger glass doorknob for this. Now these antique doorknobs, some of them have threads in, uh, some of them don't. Uh, the glass ones I find a lot of times do have threads and you can get the right size bolt and bolt through and actually tighten it up. Uh, but a much kind of simpler way is you can use JB Weld and one of these uh, bolts. And this is a double threaded bolt. So you can you know, put the one end down through, you have your JB Weld in there that holds it tight and it kind of welds it in there fast, uh, holds it real nice. So then you can screw this into the board. So as you can see here, we just took a simple little square of rough cut walnut. Uh, I pre-drilled the top hole to put a screw in so we can screw it into a stud, screw it into a wall, and I pre-drilled the bottom hole the right size for this end of the bolt. So as you can see, I got it pretty close to the, uh, the other hole just so it covers it up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna screw that in. And that's it. It's that simple. Uh, you hang out on the wall. Be a nice hanger for an apron or a coat or anything else. So the next idea we're going to do is to just put a little handle on top of a mason jar. And we also filled this jar up with knobs. It's also a, uh, a good idea. Kind of looks neat. Uh, so we're going to take our knob and we're just going to pre-drill a hole, which I've already done on top of this lid, and we're going to attach it. And 
last idea we have for today is this long kind of coat rack. Um, I pre-drilled a hole on each end so we could screw it into a stud in the wall. I uh, got some good strength and I pre-drilled all of my holes at equal increments throughout the rest of the board. Um, it's kind of a nice sleek look. I think it'll look real nice afterwards. Uh, we're going to be using some glass knobs and then some of these knobs that we had as well. So I'm going to change them out. that easy. Uh, we're probably gonna end up hanging this one in our own house uh, for the kids backpacks and things like that. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we tried to come up with some different ideas, some unique ideas. Uh, if you guys have any different ideas that you know you guys do with the knobs and poles, please let us know in the comments below. And with that, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.